Uh, so dementia with Lewy bodies is um, the third most common type of uh, dementia in older people um, and it uh, overlaps a lot with Alzheimer's disease and also with Parkinson's disease as well. Uh, people with dementia with Lewy bodies get a couple of different symptoms um, when compared to Alzheimer's disease. So they often don't get memory problems until a little bit later on in the illness, but earlier on they can get things like um, movement symptoms where they can become quite rigid or stiff and, and slow down in their movements and they can also get um, something called visual hallucinations where they see things um, that, that aren't, aren't really there. Um, so it can be really quite distressing for the patient and also for the carers to see people going through, going through these symptoms and having this illness. So I'm Jay, I'm a Clinical Research Fellow um, funded by Alzheimer's Research UK and my research project is looking into the role of the immune system in dementia with Lewy bodies. Um, there's been lots of uh, research that has shown that the immune system is um, altered or abnormal in Alzheimer's disease but not very much in Lewy body dementia. So um, my task is really to look at to see if it is um, different in, in uh, dementia with Lewy bodies compared to Alzheimer's disease. And if it is, then some of the medications that might target the immune system in Alzheimer's disease might also be able to be used in dementia with Lewy bodies. So, so that's, my, that's my plan. I um, study the immune system by, by um, two, different, um, two different ways. So one way is looking at uh, post-mortem brain tissue from people who have um, kindly donated their, their brains to dementia research. Um, and look at um, in, uh, markers of the immune system under the microscope. And the other part of my study is to look at uh, blood samples of people who have um, kindly volunteered to take part in the clinical study down in Southampton. I'll um, see people with dementia with Lewy bodies and Alzheimer's disease and um, speak to them for a couple of hours, take some clinical information from them and take a blood sample to, to process as well.